Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you had a really great weekend. So last week on Monday, we did open the week with a gap up and the opening move, we dropped into that gap and closed it about two thirds of the way. And then that was support right there for Monday. And then Tuesday, we saw support at that level as well and then managed to get above the 35 EMA. And that started to look like support going into the end of Tuesday. Wednesday, we had a big gap up and ran to make new highs. And from there, we lost the 35 EMA, then dropped back down to the five minute 200 moving average. And then Thursday, we gapped up back above the 35 EMA, tried to make new highs, but didn't quite get there, lost the 35 EMA. And as soon as we closed that gap on Thursday from the Wednesday into Thursday gap right here. As soon as we closed that, we came right back up. And if you were watching just the moving averages, you could see it looked like it could possibly cross down here, but it started to turn up. So even though we did break the five minute 200 moving average, the actual moving averages stayed bullish. And that gave us enough momentum on Friday to open. We did open flat. But then we came down to the 35 EMA long enough just to push up and make new all time highs by 0.1%. And then from there, we did drop back down. We lost the 35 EMA and we came back down into the red, closed down 0.13%. VIX also closed down 1.56%. And we did trade completely within the implied move on Friday. And then in QQQ, the week trade is very similar. We did open right here on Monday with a gap up. We did, however, close that gap, but we did trade sideways along the 35 EMA. Tuesday, we managed to see a small support there, and then we bounced up, made new highs, and then the difference here, and I did mention this on Thursday, is that we saw the 35 EMA cross down on Thursday. Right here, we saw that cross, and that is why Friday played out a little bit differently for QQQ. We actually opened with a gap down and then came right here to fill that gap from Tuesday going into Wednesday. This is where we started to see big earnings. Um, so that gap that was left open, we filled and then as soon as we filled it, we came back up and we saw that five minute 200 moving average as resistance, which pushed us back down. And we did end up closing down 0.6%. VXN closed down 1.33%. And we did also stay completely within the implied move in QQQ. So that was a recap of last week. Let's go check out tomorrow's levels. guys so before we head into tomorrow's trading ranges if you find these nightly videos useful and they help you in your everyday trading then please make sure you hit that like button and leave me a comment let me know you are here and let me know what you think and make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications because this information is made for tomorrow it's just made for the next trading day so make sure you have notifications on so you don't miss this valuable information. So starting off in SPY, tomorrow's implied move is between 484 and 490, and that is from options. And the 30-day average volatility is a little bit wider, 483 to 492. And to the upside, the very first level is going to be where we just made new all-time highs. And that was on Friday before we dropped back down to the 35 EMA. So 489 was where we just made new highs. And that is definitely going to be a level to have on your chart. The top of the implied move is at 490. As of right now, we still have a fully bullish 
moving average configuration so 489 is not off the table for tomorrow and then since we are at all-time highs we really don't have anything above that in the chart so that is the upside and then to the downside we do have the five minute 200 moving average is just below us where we closed and that does line up with the 35 ema it's a little bit off today but it's pretty close so this has been a moving support and if we do break underneath this level then watch for the 35 ema as a trailing resistance so and then underneath that the first level is going to be at the right at the very bottom of the implied move 484 we do have this gap right here and that is from tuesday going into wednesday and this was when we first started seeing the big earnings. So that is around 484. And underneath that, we have Monday's up gap, which was support right here, 482 to just under 483. We have that support gap right here. So that pretty much takes up the entirety of tomorrow's trading range. If for some reason we break below that, then we do have the next support. We did kind of come up pretty quickly, so we don't have anything until we get to the 30 minute 200 moving average. Extended out, that looks like around 480. So that is SPY. Switching over to QQQ, tomorrow's implied move is between 420 and 427 and that is from options and the 30-day average volatility is about twice that and that is between 416 and 430 and to the upside the first levels to look for is going to be the five minute 200 moving average that is above us in qqq and we did break underneath the 35 EMA, so this definitely has the potential to be a resistance until we see the moving averages untangle. And above that, the top of the implied move is at 427. And then outside of the implied move, but still within range tomorrow, we do have all-time highs at 429.85. To the downside, we do have this right here on Friday. This was at 423.5, and that was support on Friday. And if that breaks, we do have Monday and Tuesday's support right here at 421. And then the bottom of the implied move is at 420. And then that 30 minute 200 moving average is looking like it could be coming into wednesday's trading range right here so not too far out we are looking like we're starting to get to oversold but there is also still lots of room to go if one of these levels don't catch tomorrow so there you have it tomorrow's trading ranges have fun trade safe make sure you take profits when you're up and i'll see you guys tomorrow night.